Hello friends, this is Navdeep Singh from itbolzai.com. Today we will be focusing upon questions which are sports related because in each and every paper we see a number of questions regarding to a particular sport. So regarding that the topics of today's discussion would be firstly we will be discussing the national sports of various countries. Then We'll also see into various sports related terms of each and every sport as far as possible. We'll also look into certain important facts regarding a particular sport. For example, what is the size of a tennis ball, what is the height of a tennis court net and etc. After that, we'll look into major tournaments at the national as well as at the international levels and certain famous stadiums like the Venkade Stadium, the Brabon Stadium and all. So starting with the national sports of various countries. Here it will be very difficult for us to remember the sports of each of the 180 to 184 countries that we have as of today. So we'll just look into the sports or national sport of the major countries only. Firstly, in the case of Argentina, it is the sport of Pato, which is handball played on a horseback. For Bahamas, we have the sloop sailing, which is sailing when a mast is put on a boat. In the case of Bangladesh, it is Kabaddi. For Brazil, it is Capoeira. Capoeira is simply a kind of a martial art that they practice in Brazil. In the case of Canada, it is ice hockey, which is a winter sport. And they play lacrosse as the national sport in the summers. Chile has the Chilean rodeo. In case of Iran, we have a form of wrestling called Varjes e Bastani. We have also certain other countries such as Philippines has Arnis. Now Arnis is also a kind of a martial art. Sri Lanka is volleyball. New Zealand is rugby as we all know. Russia plays bandy as its national sport. Bandy is kind of uh, ice skating. In the case of Bhutan, it is archery and baseball in the case of USA. So these are the major sports or national sports of major countries. After that, we look into various sports related terms of say important sports. For example, we have in the case of athletics, relay, track, lane, hurdles, hammer throw, discus throw, high jump and all. Here we have to keep in mind that what kind of a question would come. It will be like this particular term, discuss throw, is related to which sport. This particular term like drop is related to which of the following sport. So we have to associate these terms with each and every sport. So in the case of badminton, we have the equipment such as shuttlecock, the service court, we have other things like smash, hit, drop, double fault and all. Further in the case of basketball, we have terms such as foul, technical foul, underhead, overhead, common foul and others. In the case of boxing, boxing has been more important in recent times because India has been seeing a resurgence in boxing. So the terms related to boxing are ring stoppage, timing, footwork, punch, kidney punch, knockout and others. In the case of horse riding similarly, we have a major event that is held called the three day event, show jumping, presses, falls and etc. Coming to football, which is one of the most popular games in the country. So we all might be knowing some kind of terms related to football. So this will be quite familiar. Terms such as hat-trick, foul, left out, penalty kick, goal, kick, head, offside and etc. In the case of gymnastics, terms such as horizontal bar, parallel bar, uneven bar, floor exercise, push up are more important. See, the question setter would not at all focus on common games such as football and cricket. He would obviously 
try to put in certain terms related to a uh, uncommon or unpopular sport just so, simply to intrigue the candidate so we have to focus on games such as gymnastics such as athletics horse riding and all similarly in the case of judo we have the color belts which are by the name white blue green and all in the case of hockey which is the national sport in our case in the case of india so this becomes more important than the others also we have terms such as short corner penalty corner penalty stroke dribble push in tie breaker offside so we have to go through each and every term related to important sports in our case hockey being one of the most important sports swimming is also a unfamiliar or an unpopular sport so we have to know or we ought to know certain terms related to swimming too like freestyle breaststroke butterfly lane pool crawl and etc polo has terms such as checker and mallet tennis or lawn tennis as we more popularly associate it with has terms such as grand slams grand slams are the four major tournaments as we all know the break point drop shot grass court dues and other related terms in the case of shooting now shooting again being an unpopular sport we have terms such as rapid fire pistol standard rifle bulls eye free pistol range so these are the terms which are again important for us to remember volleyball has dues similarly in the case of tennis the spikers booster smash side arm penetration these are the terms related to volleyball in the case of wrestling we have freestyle halls and point and heave so these are the terms related to wrestling and various important sports that we ought to know i would again repeat that we have to be comfortable with various terms which are related to sports which are especially not popular so we by default know much about games such as football cricket we have to know about games such as wrestling such as volleyball such as tennis gymnastics athletics so we can focus on those areas as well coming to our next area that of discussing facts about major sports again we'll not go into facts related to each and every sports we'll only be discussing facts related to major sports such as basketball such as tennis baseball soccer and all so starting with basketball firstly the playing court is 94 feet by 50 feet wide this may also vary depending upon the tournament that is being played the basket ring is 18 inches inside diameter with a white cord with 12 mesh net each ring is made of metal which is not more than 5/8 of a ring and it has to be brighter in color for understandable reasons the height of the basket has to be 10 feet and the weight of the ball should be between 20 to 22 ounces so these are certain facts which you have to keep in mind because such facts are very very easy or easy to catch marks in the question paper the circumference of the ball in the case of basketball should not be greater than 30 inches and should not be less than 29 and a half inches there is a free throw line which is 15 feet from the face of the backboard which is 2 inches wide and again we all know that there is three point field goal line 19 feet from this 19 feet 9 inches from the center of the basket so these are the dimensions related to basketball so those were the important facts related to the game of basketball now we come to the next popular game that is soccer so in the case of soccer the maximum playing field is 100 yards by 50 yards which can go till 130 by 100 yards wide the longer boundary lines are called touch lines or side lines and again we have a line called the goal line discussing a bit about the goal area in the game of soccer two lines are drawn at right angle to the goal line 
six yards from inside of each goal post. Lines extend into playing field for six yards and are again joined by parallel lines with the goal line. The distance between the two goal posts of the goal is eight yards and distance of the top goal post or which is called as the crossbar is again eight feet. The weight of the ball cannot be more than 16 ounces and cannot be less than 14 ounces. Circumference of the ball again should not be more than 28 inches and should not be less than 27 inches. So it should vary between 27 to 28 inches. The penalty area in the game of soccer is that two lines are drawn at right angle to the goal line, 18 yards from inside of each goal post. Lines extend into playing field for 18 yards and are joined by a line again drawn parallel to the goal line. The flag posts, these are not less than 5 feet high and not less than 1 yard outside the touch line. Now we come to the game of football. We also have to differentiate that the games of football and soccer are different. So discussing about football, the length of the field is 120 yards, the width is 53.3 yards or 160 feet. The height of the goal post is at least 30 feet, height of crossbar 10 feet, width of the goal post is 18 feet 6 inches or 18 and a half feet inside to inside and size of the ball or circumference of the ball has to be 23 quarters to 20 quarter inches. Talking about golf. So the specification of the ball, firstly the weight of the ball should not be more than 1.62 ounces and size should not be less than 1.68 inches in diameter of the ball. The velocity of the ball should not be greater than 250 feet per second when tested in the USGA apparatus. They also allow for a 2% tolerance in the apparatus. The hole is 4 quarter inches in diameter and it has to be at least 4 inches in depth. The overall distance standard says that the ball should not exceed a distance of 280 yards plus 6% tolerance again when tested on the USGA apparatus. So that was about the game of golf. Now we move on to the important facts related to the game of tennis or lawn tennis as we popularly call it. Firstly, the size of the court itself which is 120 by 60 feet wide. The rectangle marked is at 78 feet by 27 feet for singles and 78 feet by 36 feet for doubles. So we have to keep in mind that there are different dimensions when single players are playing and there are different directions when the game is between two players on one side or doubles. The height of the net in the case of lawn tennis is 3 feet in the center which gradually rises when we move towards the pole. The ball shall not be more than two and a half inches and should not be less than two five by eight inches in diameter and its weight should be less than two ounces. The service line is 21 feet from the net. This was about the major facts about the important sports or popular sports. Now coming to a next aspect, that of major tournaments. So while discussing major tournaments, we look into firstly the international tournaments that are played with the sport that is associated with. And after that, we'll also look into the national tournaments that are played again associated with the sport that they are played for. Ashes, as we all know, for cricket. Benson and Hedges Cup, again for cricket. For golf, we have a very important tournament called the Canada Cup. 
for football it is the colombo cup for horse race it is derby this is one of the most important tournaments for horse racing for games such as hockey we have a world cup for hockey which was recently played for polo we have the westchester cup for football another major tournament is european champions cup and other league games for horse racing again we have a tournament called grand national for soccer the jules rimet cup we have the ryder cup for golf which is again one of the important tournaments for the game the uber cup for badminton for tennis we have the youth ant cup for lawn tennis again we have a grand p this is again associated with games such as sport racing or f1 racing for hockey we have a rennie frank tournament and for golf the eisenhower cup those were the important international tournaments so talking a bit about the important national tournaments that we have in the country so firstly talking about our national sport that is hockey for that we have the aga khan cup for hockey we also have the brighton cup the mcc trophy the lady ratan tata trophy the dhyan chand trophy associated with the hockey legend dhyan chand we also have the gurmeet trophy for hockey again and the guru nanak cup for hockey for football we have the bandodkar trophy we have the nixon gold cup for football again we have the durand cup and the dcm cup talking about the game of cricket we have the ranji trophy apart from that in cricket we also have the deodar trophy the dilip trophy the gulam ahmed trophy and gd birla trophy so these are some of the important tournaments which we have to keep in mind because for such facts the question would come like for this this game or for this particular given game which of the following tournaments is played or on the other hand this tournament is related to which of the following games so we have to keep in mind certain important tournaments as are given here talking about the jawhar lal cup challenge this is about air racing talking about prithvi singh cup this is about polo for polo we also have the radha mohan cup talking about other tournaments related to football we have the ifa shield we have the santosh trophy and the subroto cup these are again along with the rovers cup the more important football tournaments for hockey we also have tournaments apart from those we which we've already discussed tournaments such as the indra gold cup the sindhya gold cup and the ranga swami hockey along with the ranji singh gold cup so these are the more important tournaments related to the games coming to our next aspect of famous stadiums in the country so these are various geographical positions and the sport associated to that particular stadium firstly we have the national stadium in mumbai for the sport of hockey we have the prabhon stadium in mumbai for the sport of cricket we have the indraprastha stadium in delhi the indoor games are played there the jawahar lal nehru stadium in delhi for athletics this is one of the most popular stadiums in the country the feroz shah kotla again in delhi for cricket as we all know ambedkar stadium delhi for football the national stadium in delhi is also quite famous that is for hockey and sports the talkatara stadium in delhi for swimming which have been quite in use during the commonwealth games too the eden gardens kolkata as we all know is the hotbed of cricket in the country the ranjit stadium in kolkata for football green park in kanpur for cricket the chepak stadium in chennai again for cricket so these are the various locations or famous stadiums present in the country talking a bit about international stadiums 
throughout the world and related to particular sport we have the headingley and manchester in britain for the sport of cricket for the sport of cricket again we have the lords the birthplace of cricket as they call them the ovals and leeds all in britain for cricket for the sport of lawn tennis in the country of britain we have the wimbledon we also have the roland garros stadium in france for the sport of lawn tennis both wimbledon and roland garros stadiums for lawn tennis hold one of the grand slams tournament that are held in the year the brooklyn stadium for football in britain and the wembley stadium in britain again for the sport of football so these are the famous stadiums that we have to keep in mind while preparing for questions related to sports so throughout our today's video lecture the aspects that we have looked into are like the important sports the national sports of major countries the dimensions of or important facts of various sports the terms associated with various sports and famous stadiums in the country as well as outside the country and lastly we also discussed about the various national and international tournaments related to sports so that is all about the sports that we have to prepare related to our examination point of view thank you